Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Amateur Cooking Guy. And today, we got a double bacon cheeseburger we're going to be making. Bacon already fully cooked. I cook it already off camera. Y'all know how I get down with my bacon. So, enough with the talking. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, I'm back. Here you go the egg. We need one egg for this. And I use the egg, you know, use the egg as a binder and keep everything together. So, you're going to go ahead and crack your egg. Just drop it right there in the um, bowl with your hamburger. Get rid of that. And then start mixing the egg up together with your hamburger meat. Just like that. You know, it's summertime coming. Everybody about to start cooking outside. So, you know, hamburger and hot dogs about to be a big thing for people to cook. Stuff is opening back up. Everybody about to go back to cookouts and everything. So I was like, let me go ahead and show them a version of my burger. You wanna make sure all that egg gets soaked up in this meat. Y'all go ahead and let me know what y'all favorite burger y'all like to eat. Regular hamburger, regular cheeseburger, double cheeseburger. What I'm making. Bacon cheeseburger, a stuffed burger. Let me know what y'all like. It's a, it's, it's a whole bunch of different ways to do hamburger. You can just have fun with it too. Now let's get to the seasoning. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I seasoned my meat already. This ain't nothing but some garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and. Y'all already know, my little friend right here is in Sazon. About half a pack of that. You don't need a whole pack. And want everything to be salty. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my griddle on. Get it nice and hot for these burger patties. And then you're going to just go ahead and mix all that seasoning in, into this meat. Mix it, mix it all in there. And, region look, and the reason it look orange like this is because of the Sazon. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to get about six patties out this. You can make them as big as you want. Or as small as you want. I'm not going to make mine that big. So. Go ahead and take. Take your hamburger meat. Form it. Your hamburger meat just like this. I'll go ahead and pop it on the grill. Now give me one second. Let me get a plate. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now let's get the rest of these patties together. All right, a little bit more meat to that. Got one cooking already. It smells amazing. So I think I'll get about six patties out of this. So let's take your meat. That's why I say you need an egg. See how that egg hold everything together? Hold your patty together. It's not cracking, it's not breaking up, or anything. And it don't have to be a perfect. It don't have to be perfect shape. Like I said, you use as much meat as you want or as little. You can even make um, kid-sized hamburgers with these. For your kids, for your grandkids who are watching this video. That's a fun activity to do with the family. Making some homemade burgers. Food that tastes better when you make it yourself. I've been learning that the last four months. We always been like a takeout guy, but now I'm like cooking and making my own food.
So I'm gonna finish these and I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna fit these on the grill. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, now I'll be back. Okay, guys, look, this is how your burger should look. Just all again, nice and brown, get that nice press on it. Now, let's put the other burgers on. Just put it right there, now on your, on your grill, on your grill, on your pan. Make sure how your own um, griddle, like on medium, medium low. You don't want the hamburger meat to cook too fast. You want to make sure the whole thing cooks through. And you can know it cooks through when you don't see any more pink. That's when you know your burger's are done. One, two. Go ahead and grab your spatula. And flatten it down some. Matter of fact, give me a second. I got just a thing for this. Okay. The burger smash right here. Yeah. Smash the burger down. Huh? It's not going to stick to us no more it was. If it does, we got to do a shake it off a little bit. Oh, you can run the ground. There you go, your burgers are nice. I'm flat down. So I'm gonna finish cooking these and then I'll be back with the presentation. And we're gonna we'll be back with the presentation and we're gonna put this together. I'm sorry about the vent. We ain't get hot in the kitchen and come on by so it should be off in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, I'm back. The burgers are done. Um, don't make fun of my shape. You know, it's not always about the um, presentation, presentation, but how the food tastes. This food gonna taste good. First thing you're gonna do, and hit each burger with some good old cheese. And don't worry, we're gonna make sure, gonna make sure the cheese is nice and melty. Slice the whole sun. Gonna be a double um, bacon cheeseburger out the well, out the double cheese. And let's face it, everybody can't have for the cheese. <laughs> and sorry again for the vent. This should be off in a few seconds. A couple of minutes. That's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to melt it. Got a good old blowtorch. Um, blowtorch for that. Let me turn it up some. What the heck? Cheese should get nice and melty soon. I'll be back. I think I gotta have, add more gas to this. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, let's try this one more time. There we go. I <laughs> need more gas. Get that cheese nice and melty. I don't know a lot of people who like they cheese side like this. People like a nice melted cheese and they um cheeseburger. I love the thing coming handy too. So I was on I was just gonna put them in the boiler, but I was like, this will get the job done. Let me just 
Don't worry, my hands clean. Always practice um, food safety when you cook them. But you cook at home, so don't worry about it. Unless you cook it for other people who come over. Make sure you use gloves, wash your hands, be clean. Bro, the cheese is melting nice. Also give it a nice brown color too. Use my last one. That's it. Again, let me know how y'all make y'all um, cheeseburgers at home, hamburgers, or where y'all go get y'all burgers from. You know, a lot of people like five guys. They okay. Make sure all the cheese is nice and also my family picky. Now, let's put the sandwich together. First thing I'm going to do for my double bacon cheeseburger, I'm going to cut up some tomatoes and I need six slices of tomatoes. I'm not the best tomato cutter. <laughs> that was just horrible right there. Almost there. Now I'm gonna do a cut of uh, tomatoes. Always get my mother or my wife to cut it for me. I think that's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move this to the side. Get our tomatoes, put them right there. Next, that's on. Now we can start assembling this double cheeseburger now. Double bacon cheeseburger. Okay, first thing we're going to do is hit it with some mayonnaise. Like top and bottom bun. I love mayonnaise in here. Just like that. I hit the bottom bun as next. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put our lettuce down. It's going to be a, um, a double cheese, double bacon cheeseburger, at least some lettuce and tomatoes. One more piece of us. Next, go and get your tomato. One tomato for each um, double cheeseburger. Next, 
on cheese right next to it. I'm gonna get my blow torch on this side. Like I said, I gotta make sure the cheese is nice and melty. Two pieces right there. Then get the other one piece. That's how we build this double bacon cheeseburger, guys. Oh yeah, that looked beautiful. <laughs> Now I'm time for this piece. Oh. Cheese came off some. That's okay. I'll load that too. Yeah, put two slices of bacon on each layer. Call it double bacon cheeseburger or not. Man, these things look beautiful. Our brothers are going to enjoy this. I'm not eating one, my stomach, my stomach kind of upset. Okay. The last two. I'm so you want to make sure your cheese nice and melty if you prefer it that way. No, we prefer it that way in the house. Two slices of bacon. Get the other burger. Cheese melts it all over. We got two more slices of bacon right here. I made too much, so somebody get a treat. <laughs> I got three slices of bacon. Uh, top it. And there you go. Okay, guys, and that's it. A double bacon cheeseburger. Look at these bad boys. Aren't they beautiful? Man, they look good. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that sub button. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to um, like my channel. And also, I want everybody to go ahead and hit the notification bell so y'all be the first ones to know what Amateur Cooking Guy has a new video. So, so until next time, <laughs> sorry, until next time, we out of here. Mm. Money shot.